Terrence Crawford rematch at 154 could be a title shot after Charlo is stripped. What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Cardinal Red, Cardinal Red. But let's talk about it. All right, so some news coming out this morning about Jamel Charlo being stripped of his titles at 154 before his big fight with Canelo. And some interesting things could be the outcome of that involving Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford and Tim Zhu. And I just wanted to give my 15 nickels on what's going on and break it down for whoever listening. Now this may sound messed up. Jamel Charlo has been stripped. Alright, so apparently the WBO is going to be the first to strip Charlo of his titles at 154. Now, according to reports, Charlo will be able to be announced as the unified and undisputed champion at 154 pounds for the Canelo fight. And he'll actually be able to carry the belt to the ring. But immediately after, he's going to be removed as the champion at 154 pounds by the WBO. And Tim Zhu is going to be elevated to the new champion of 154 pounds and by the WBO. So he'll be the WBO 154 champion after the Canelo fight. He didn't even have to do anything. Jerron Ennis, interestingly enough, could possibly get the same treatment here in the near future if the Terrence Crawford fight doesn't take place for him. I'm not sure if they'll strip him of his title just yet. You know, I'm pretty sure they're going to give him opportunity to rematch Earl, which most likely will take place at 154. But if Terrence Crawford chooses to campaign at 154, most likely, Boots will receive the same treatment by the IBF and be elevated to champion. I can't wait to take their cheese. Keep saying that, keep down me, you know, uh, and when we take your cheese, keep that same energy. Don't try switch sides, try beats. Oh, I already, always knew he could do it. No, I ain't trying to hear none of that. Stay where y'all at. Now, what's interesting about this whole situation is that all the sanctioning bodies are reportedly going to strip Charlo of his titles. They haven't announced when yet, but in the near future is being reported that he will most likely be stripped by the IBF, the WBA, and the WBC as well. All those titles will be vacated and there is a possibility that the rematch between Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford could possibly be for one of those vacated titles. All of this is going to depend on whether Terrence Crawford accepts the fight at 154 or tries to force Earl Spence to fight him again at 147 pounds. That was the best fight. That was a good fight. You know, two warriors and one showed up for one, <laughs> one day. Now Crawford did his thing. Yeah. He talked that talk, he walked that walk. That's what the boss does. You gotta always be nice with your hands. You gotta fight for what you love. For the title, you gotta fight for that title, no matter what the title is. Now, this rematch might not happen at all if it can't be made for 154 because we all know that Earl Spence has already made the jump up to 154. He's already removed himself as a 147-pound fighter. Oh, don't hit back. So, it's going to be interesting to see how all this plays out whether all the sanctioning bodies decide to strip Charlo of his titles or does he get the whole one or two of those titles and will Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford actually get to fight for a 154 you know title in the rematch oh oh god get out my way now I'm about to shit like a crippled coon you know I think the most interesting thing about all of this happening and the whole Earl Spence Terrence Crawford outcome is Jerron Boots Ennis and how you know the next year is going to play out for him because everybody knows he's the next up at 147 pounds and will most likely be a champion within the next year 
whether he has to go through Crawford to get there or not, that's a story to be told. But I think if those two guys actually do get it on, and most likely it will have to happen after the Earl Spence rematch, I think it's a great fight. But I do think that Boots, being the younger fighter, Boots having all the skill sets that Terrence Crawford possesses, and potentially more, and not only that, but Boots said something very interesting in a recent interview. The only thing I seen was Crawford ain't really switch. He ain't switch at all. He stayed southpaw the whole time. I think Crawford really is only a southpaw fighter. I don't think he's built on the right hand side. When he turns southpaw, you could tell he's right handed. He finished his combination with his right hand, so you could just tell. And he spoke about you know Terrence Crawford's switching ability, and he said that he feels like Terrence Crawford is a natural southpaw. And that most of his power is actually in his southpaw stance and uh, in his southpaw hand and not the other hand. And, you know, I, I heard that Terrence Crawford actually broke one of his hands when he was younger and it never really healed right. And, and that that's the reason that he switches most of the time is because he can't really throw with power with the other hand. Now, I don't know how true that is or not. No bullshit. I have heard that. I have he heard him say something similar to that effect. But it's interesting to hear Boots say that he noticed that his southpaw hand is actually his dominant hand. And that he feels like because of that, he can take advantage of that if he was to get a Terrence Crawford fight. Now you're going to have to go through hell worse than any nightmare that you ever dreamed. But in the end, I know you'll be the one standing you know, I've heard in the past people saying that Boots has power in both hands, which I noticed that even when he switches, he's still able to back guys up with his power. You know, it doesn't really matter what hand he's throwing it from. He, he's able to back people up with his power. So I think the most interesting thing to come out of all of this is going to be, you know, Boots Ennis and what happens with him over the next year, the year and a half. Does he decide to move up and wait? Does he wait around 147 for his uh, apparent title that he's going to be either given or given a shot at when it comes to the IBF? And whether Terrence Crawford actually takes that 154 rematch and if it'll actually be for a title with him and Earl Spence Jr. Congratulations to Tim Zhu for being elevated to champion. I can't wait to see this Charlo Canelo fight. And I can't wait to see how the rematch is going to play out. My problem, you got a problem. You got a ticker problem. What's the matter? You got nothing left inside, huh? Because you're training like a damn bum, you know that? Bum? A bum! Maybe you're right. Maybe I ain't got it no more. Then don't you waste my time no more. You hear that? You go back to being a two-bit nothing. But don't you ever come back here again. I'm too old to waste my time trying to train a no-good loser like you. You bum! I appreciate it. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. You know why? Because if it wasn't from you, this would never happen. Y'all yeah, let me know what y'all think about all that down in the comment section below that like button for me share 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 subscribe 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 holler me on all social media platform facebook instagram youtube twitter but you're more than likely to get a response on the tube so holler at me over there if you want to collab or feature a product or your channel on my channel hit my gmail because it is a flack of cards at gmail dot com and we are man i'm gonna keep it funky with these niggas I don't give a fuck about your mixtape I'm gonna keep it funky with these bitches I don't give a fuck if your kids hate I'm gonna keep it funky with these niggas I don't give a fuck if you got a plan I'm gonna keep it funky with these bitches I don't give a fuck if you got a man I'm gonna keep it funky with these niggas I don't give a fuck if you getting money I'ma keep it funky with these bitches I don't give a fuck if it was your cousin I'm still fucking Keep it funky Keep it funky I'ma keep it funky with these niggas I'ma keep it funky with these niggas I'ma keep it funky with these niggas I'ma keep it funky with these
bitch. I'ma keep it funky with these bitches. I'ma keep it funky with these niggas. You don't need to know if you gotta ask. I'ma keep it funky with these bitches. If I'm fucking with you, then you gotta ask. I'ma keep it funky with these niggas. Don't come to the hood, you don't have a pass. I'ma keep it funky with these bitches. Be careful, don't get robbed from that Prada bag. I'ma keep it funky with these niggas. Sometimes you gotta let a nigga know. I'ma keep it funky with these bitches. Every girl ain't a bitch, but every bitch is a hoe. Hey yo, I'ma keep it funky with these niggas. <laughs> 